What's up, folks? Holla at your guala. Sheesh, man. Yes, sir. Oh, it feels so much nicer to hear myself <laughs> now. Because <laughs> you've always forget to friggin' bring your headphones. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Anywho, new year, bro. New year, new, new DFP year, new work. me, man. <laughs> Gonna finally use my running shoes, man. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of that, I got running shoes that I even put on. Yeah. Yet. I use. I remember in the summer, I used my running shoes to bike. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they were comfortable. Oh, yeah. They're the most comfortable you know? shoes. Goes to show that when you actually put the effort and learn exactly how to do things right, uh, like it, it works as it should function. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. I know, big yeah. time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to uh, <laughs> Forward Punch, <laughs> the most inconsistent yeah. podcasters on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, man. We've been momentum, baby. So, <laughs> We got momentum, the f- you know momentum, it you know? It's the hamster going into the wheel, taking one swipe, and then getting off. So it's like, yeah, did my part. Let it spin until next week. Yeah. <laughs> but for everybody watching, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, yeah. That's how we're up to 2021. Oh, yeah. What a dreadful little... Yeah, what a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to... Pardon make, my swear. I don't want to make this a door for us yeah, to yeah. go in and go heavy yeah. complain mode. Yeah, that... That common door that we always revisit. Let's not talk about it. That was basically our beginning as a as a YouTube channel. Yeah, making fun of how one guy forgot to hit the <laughs> record button, <laughs> and how the other one forgot the files. Yeah, but it's okay. That's all behind us now. Yeah, let's uh, not bring it up from now on ever again. I know. Let's not talk about officially the past because uh, <laughs> I think that's uh like. To be fair, I'm sure nobody else wants to hear it either. I think Every episode, are, we're always talking about it. Like, yeah, we, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know the people that were with us in the beginning, they're like, um, you know, the whole thing about talking about forgetting about your recording button, yeah. uh, it's getting boring. Yeah. I know, but we're just trying to walk you through. But okay, no more. Yeah. No, no more, more about how we're messed up. Yeah. Consistency from now on. Yeah, no more. Yes? Yeah. Power Ranger prop. Yeah. 2022. All right, man. Yeah. I can feel that power out your yeah. wrist, man. K.O. Ken. <laughs> Booster shots are available. Yeah. For those watching, uh, boost your immunity. Go boosted using a Pfizer shot. Uh, yeah. Get that yeah, flubs out nope. of here. A whole no. lot of nope for me. Yeah, going into yeah. this year, weird. Yeah. I like that meme, eh? It says 2022 sounds like 2022. Two. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I hope not, bro. Yeah. I really hope not. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think a lot of people are waking up. Yeah, a lot of people. I'm actually seeing a lot of people turn like from friends who first were, you know, of course, pro vaccine, which is there's no problem with it. You can be pro anything, but it's just that when you know what you were told and you're like, hey, I'm gonna follow this the first year, it's gonna be fine. Right. Don't worry, it's it's to slow down the curve. But then now they're like, hey, we're almost three years in, nothing's changed. You know, like and, and and they say that. And the the people, they're willing to admit, they're like, yeah, I drank the Kool-Aid, my bad. You know, there's a lot of people who, you know, now they're... There, there, there is. I yeah. agree with you. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Down, forward, punch, DFP. Yeah. This is a science channel. Yeah. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Endorsement by. <bye. laughs> yeah. Big Pharma, come holla at us and give yeah. us money. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> joking. No, never. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, look, we're science. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't know us good enough mm. for us to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smirk on your face, bro. <laughs> I know. No, but you you guys are, haven't obviously been exposed to a lot of our content, a lot to know where we are in certain things in life. But yeah. we are pro-science, pro-logic. That's yeah. just pro-logic. Can yeah. we all... Be pro logic. Yeah, that's a very simple measuring term, right? Yeah, Logitech. Lo- <laughs> <laughs> this no. episode is provided by yeah. Logitech G4. Yeah, MX series. Hey, Logitech. Yeah. It's your boy. Yeah. Holla. Send me a keyboard. Send me a <laughs> mouse. <laughs> Send me a webcam. Yeah, I got it on deck. Yeah, I'm gonna hashtag the shit out of Logitech. <laughs> yeah. But b- pro logic is one thing I think all of us need to be in life right now, and a lot of us are throwing logic away. Yeah. Um, me and you talked about how annoying it is to keep talking about the same subjects over and over, and so are the people probably listening to this right now. Yeah. They don't want to hear, keep hearing the same shit because 
man, well, these conversations are coming up every day and they're boring. They're just yeah. not boring. They're just depress you. You can yeah. feel your your vibes coming down every time you go meet a friend or a family member. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you heard this? Oh, you Yeah, you don't want to talk about it, but it keeps coming up. And that's the, that's the problem. It's just you want to ignore it. And then it's like that tap on your shoulder. It's like, hey, I'm still here. That's the thing. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> rather than whispering sometimes, you're like, <laughs> COVID, <I'm> still here. <laughs> you know? Well, a lot of us want to, um, when we say we, when we deal with bad negative energy, bad things, we want to just shun away from it, right? Look yeah. away. It's hard to do this nowadays. No. Yeah. Like me and you could be right now looking at each other and be like, hey, man, no more COVID talk. No, nah, stop. Yeah. The positive vibes only. Let's just. Do us, just keep this negative shit away. As soon as we step out, something has to hit us that's COVID-related. Yeah. And that's how they want it, bro. Yeah. It's like, oh, shoot. Gone to the elevator. Forgot to put on a mask. It's like, oh, that person is just like, they're walking into a store, putting on a mask. Oh, I, I got to put mine on too now. Just, right? You know. yeah. I know. Yeah, there's times I forget. Honestly, like... The, <laughs> that you're in the middle of a... Yeah. No, the other day I walked into the mall and I saw my friend and I forgot to... I, like I realized that when I was talking to him, my mask wasn't on, but I was just talking. Then I, then I see people looking at me. I'm like, why are people looking at me? It's like, oh, it's like, oh, my mask is not even on. Isn't that weird though, that now, people looking and seeing your natural face, mm -hmm. is an automatic alert for something not being right. Yeah. Why is your face not covered? Yeah. It's like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you doing your part? It's so weird. It is. And you know what's even weirder? Some people... <laughs> Stop for a lot of God forgive me. <laughs> but it's so true. They look better with a mask on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because all you see is... Yeah, this, the eyes. This only. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, wow. Look at this enticing individual. Yeah. Hello. How are you? How's yeah. your day going? Then the mask comes off and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a mean person yeah. but like you said that changes people's reality now yeah when you're when you walk in like at a gas station and you're rushing right usually you forget the mask when you're rushing yeah and then like you said everybody's looking at you they're looking at you not because you're deciding to do a particular thing out loud yeah they're looking at you because there's something that looks weird about yeah. you it's like why what's what's this part of the other part of the face that i'm seeing move around yeah lips and gestures yeah. and chin or and like jaw oh, he's not allowed to do that why is it? it's like oh his mask isn't on but i'm not gonna tell him but no but know. it's like it's, it's it's like the humanity and nature um yeah humanities and you know the theological timeline of which humans got to the point where they cover their private parts yeah right mm -hmm. eventually now like i'll be honest when yeah. i first came to this country and i went into the sauna yeah i realized some people just don't give a flip you know yeah. it's like exactly eh. yeah and for me as free willy my, free willy yeah and for us some of my other friends that shit was completely new to us it's yeah. like ah yeah ah. you know yeah, yeah. Like, yeah bro collect. even like showering at public pools it's just like yo i have my swim shorts like you're taking a shower before getting to the pool with your shorts off? Well, like when I was younger, I didn't understand it. It's just like, this is weird. Very weird. Yeah, like you're coming in there with shorts on, but you're going to take it off the shower and then put them back on to get into the pool. It's just like, I, so didn't, I don't need to know that. That natural instinct to look at somebody who exposes their private part. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to get a time. I believe we're going to go in a, a time in society where that's going to become normal. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this society is way hypersexualized. Yeah. And it's it's filth yeah filth incorporated and it's taken over people's lives and, and standards yeah. but long, long again long before when people will look at you and your private parts are exposed like hey hey yeah, hey, yeah. hey. Yeah, public indecency. Yeah. come on man cover yeah. up buddy yeah now i think subconsciously people are pr are having the same <laughs> <I'm> sorry <laughs> are you hearing what i'm hearing <laughs> Bro, you got to edit that later and, yeah. and, and increase the volume <laughs> so people can yeah. hear Timbo in the background. Mm. My cat's outside just hollering. Yeah. Wants to get down here. But that's what's become normal. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, 
It's become normal now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, know, I know you're trying to be serious, but I can't get it out of my head, bro. Yeah, what? The, no, the fact that now I'm using headphones, it's like Timbo's in the earphone, the actual <laughs> earphone. He's just like, hey, you haven't fed me yet. Well, I'll let you know I'm still here. You can, I know you're there. I, <laughs> I know you locked the room. I'm on my last I ration. <laughs> I know you locked away in that yeah. room, but yeah. I'm not done with you. My, he's pl- waiting. my platoon abandoned me. I know you still have some spam left. Just hand it over, please. Uh, we got to do that idea with yeah. the voiceovers. Oh, yeah. You guys got to meet Timbo. Yeah. I got a fantastic idea. It came about because this guy cracks the shit out of us every time he's here. Mm. We're just going to record my cat and get she how to just do some voiceovers yeah yeah just honestly record whenever you're free whenever it's the best time just get clips of them send it my way i'll work my magic man <laughs> oh, but back to this depressing uh topic yeah the, <laughs> sorry no no but no it's a good point yeah, yeah. because it's a it's a this point is really hitting hard yeah, yeah for sure right now was oh yeah not because i'm recording and people are watching but no, no, it's no. really kicking in that yeah that same kind of feeling that people had towards others who expose their private parts is subconsciously being programmed into us now Yeah. when we're looking at facial features. Mm-hmm. Like, if I see your jaw... Like, imagine that, bro. Yeah. These, these, guys are re- these guys are really rewiring society. Oh, yeah. With no evidence of science that says yeah. this is ultimately required to protect yourself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, ma- masks are a standard. You know, it's, a, it's like a style piece now. It's like, oh... You need it on your face at all times. You're not safe without one. You know, wear it indoors. The kids should have it on now. Like, not, like now, like there she was, there was she a she real, real, real quick, bro. Isn't that criminal? Yeah. With kids. Yeah. Kids when we're in, in our first two episodes, I talked about when I drove by the school. You know, the school oh, kids yeah, on the Prince kids of Wales, yeah. and they're all locked up, lined up, sorry, against yeah. the fence with their hands behind their back, and yeah, that was criminal, bro. Yeah, it's nuts, man. It's 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 unbelievable that, that that we're at this point now when we're telling uh, other people how to you know parent their kids or you know like you got to do with this with your kids so they'll keep everyone else safe and they'll keep your family safe. It's like why the hell are you putting that response on my kid? My kid's good, you I know. know? <clears throat> the kids aren't the ones that are going to be spreading it. I know. That's a good point. Come on, let's let's be serious now. Plus, like, their their immune system t- d- deals with this like it's nothing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they're much better off than we are. And what was I going to say? Um, yeah, like sure. there, there was, um, there was um, a lady uh, like demonstrating the other day. I don't know if it was on Canadian television or American, but she was telling, she was showing how kids should be wearing like the N95 or the K95 mask. It's like, no, no, no you got to put it in like this. You know, I, at first I know it wouldn't be too comfortable for them to have it on, but, you know, for sure, like, based off of what I'm showing you now, like I can guarantee that it'll be fine. And you know, it's like, you got to put it on tight like this. So n- no air comes out, you know, but like the, the, and there's no leak in the mask, but the person I saw post a story, it just made me laugh because their caption also included. It's like, wait, so you're like, obviously he's joking, but it's like, you know, you're saying that there should be no way for air to come out, but how's this kid going to breathe? And <laughs> you know, it's like, like, come on kind of defeats the purpose shoot me in the legs yeah you know and uh yeah it's it's fun to make a joke out of this because at this point it is a joke and i know some people aren't gonna like it they'll be like oh no this is serious yeah of course yeah any illness is serious we're not saying that COVID doesn't exist but you know now it's just comical because all the uh, the the bs that comes out you know all the lies that are coming to the front and you know it's it's like there's a lot of backpedaling and and like the censorship is just of course, has always been at an all-time high. But now I just feel it's just ridiculous where you can't really hide the lies. Nope. Bro. It's out there. Big Pharma. Okay. Yeah. Big Tech. Mm-hmm. These two just alone. Yeah. Okay. Control a majority of world business, trading, and a number of things that you'll be like, that's not even connected to pharmaceutical or Big Tech. Yeah. But they do control. Mm-hmm. They control every aspect of the society. And then add on top to help these two, yeah. pharma and big tech, government. Mm-hmm. Yeah, These three people, <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to say three, they're not a people. These three identities, these yeah. three groups 
are just effing shit up right now. Yeah, because the government is like, oh, yeah, okay, we give you permission, you know? Well, 100%. Yeah. Well, you think, know, that's why the, the concept... They're the gatekeepers. It's just like, you know... Well, that's why the concept of government <clears throat> can be something that is very corrupt. Yeah. Uh, corrupt. Yeah. Imagine me and you are in a power of... Um, in a position of authority or in power where we can dictate and we can pass amongst our peers who are also in, uh, you know, the sphere of government and authority as well. Yeah. We pass rules to them. And, hey, Mikey, listen, man, I got this bill coming through. Yeah. I need you to come here. I'm looking. I'm really looking for your 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 buddy's uh, support there from the West End and from this block and this. Here's our advantages. A lot of these advantages are being spoken amongst politicians. We don't know about them. Yeah. Exactly. And, and there's big benefit for these guys pushing the agenda for big tech and big pharmaceutical companies. Yeah, they get a piece. And people want to act like these guys act always in your best interest. No. Like big... Bro, please tell me right now. I, I know we don't want like to get mm -hmm. into this, but honestly, please tell me when big pharma, big tech, and government always played in your interest. Always. No. Especially the last 15 years. I mean... We were in this age, bro, the age of the internet. Yeah, yeah. We grew up with it. Like We, we, we grew up from like, before it existed, yeah. like as it's making way yeah. to where it is now. Yeah, we actually experienced all of it from the very beginning of what exactly. it was. Exactly, good and, point. And then to, to see it grow exponentially as it did, like, oh, tech just keeps becoming better and better at such a high rate of speed where it gets to the point where we're the old people and we have to catch up to it, you know? And it's beyond capabilities now. See, tech... Enhances <clears throat> capability. Yeah, right. Yeah, when we were ha when he had cell phones at the very th the beginning of high school or whatnot, mm -hmm. bro, text messaging, audio calls. Yeah, look how many years now we can call each other like we did with Steven during the pandemic. Remember we were watching yeah. UFC fights? Perfect, you know, full bandwidth HD video calling. Yeah, and at the same time, I could put you and Steven at the bottom. Yeah, while I multitask and check on other. Yeah. Things I needed with the app. And I'm getting full bandwidth out of those apps as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you have a tap system now on your phone that only a computer could do before. You know? Bro, it's not the machine that's evil. Yeah. It's the people behind it. Yeah. That's just what people, you know, all the people that are listening to us right now, uh, you hear a lot of people online rant, but <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's, it's looking scary. Oh, it is. And I don't want to be negative about it, but I'm just trying to focus on me. I hope this year brings you, myself, and everybody that's watching fulfillment, to be honest with you. Everybody wants to make it look like, hey, man, I just want to get more money, more this, more materialistic yeah. benefits or additions to life. But those are not going to do anything. The best thing that we all should honestly go after right now is spiritual fulfillment. Yeah, health. Getting in touch with ourselves. You know, people nowadays, they can't stand a couple minutes by themselves, bro. No. They have to have the phone in their hands. They can't stand silence. It's that fidginess, you it's know? It's that fidg fidgetiness, big yeah. time. Yeah, it's like, it's okay to be bored. Boredom is boredom good for you. Is because good, with yes. boredom, you're creative. You actually put your mind to use. And depending on whatever industry or field you're in, you're actually like, oh, you know what? During that boredom, new ideas come up. I like that. And that's just how it is. Okay. Yeah. See how much the for man. So it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from a fortune cookie. <laughs> I can see you wearing it. I open it. A be little... quiet. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Thank you. <laughs> you yeah. wearing a little orange Buddha thing. Yeah. Besides some the, rainfall. The beads <laughs> head, you know? One beat, two beat. You get through the entire thing. It's that mantra of just like, oh, yes. Let me open this cookie. Yeah. Be quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good lesson. Yeah. Uh, honestly, hey, <clears throat> to all my friends and family, they know me. Yeah. I've been trying to be a little bit more quieter before this year ended. Yeah. And it's doing me a lot of advantages. Oh, yeah. Disconnect. Disconnect every once in a while. It's nice. Even delete your f the, f the app off your phone for a bit. For yep. a month, it's not going to hurt you. If you don't want to use it, log in through your computer. Put yourself through the hassle of just remind yourself. Uh, do I really want to just go through like five steps on the computer to do it? And then in the end, it's not even worth your time anymore, right? Nope. You just give up on trying to even access the app. So that's what it is. It's like those little tricks for you to just get away from technology every once in a while. 100%. I remember one time I lost my phone. I was happy, man. It was, it was the, the best day the, of your life. The best month. 
I could have had a phone after a week. I'm just like, you know what? I actually like this. People don't call me. They have to reach me. They have to, they have to remember my phone. But since my phone's not in use, they don't have any way to contact me. So I have to contact them. And I only contact them when I need to meet up with them, right? Speaking of contact, <clears throat> BlackBerry Canada or Bell. Shame. All of Telecom in Canada. Shame on you. Yeah, I believed in you, man. Shame on you. Yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. I'm a and BlackBerry enthusiast. Everybody around me knows yeah. that. I wanted to go back to using one. <laughs> Here's a quick story before we end this episode. Yeah. I get all excited about starting one of my tech ventures where I need a separate phone line. Yeah. I go on eBay. I buy a new $600 BlackBerry phone, yeah. BlackBerry Porsche. Because it's one of the best phones that ever came out in 2012. Yeah. It's sleek. All you could do is like video call it has and texting. Some weight. It's sturdy. Uh, it's oh, a bro, nice you phone. Remember that? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. I bring it down here. I realize obviously there's some technical limitations that exist now because it runs off the 3G band. But then I realized they're shutting the whole freaking band up. Yeah. That means no emails. Yeah. No texting. No voice calls. Yeah. They've just completely taken a generation of phones. That some of us <coughs> really wanted because yeah. it keeps our life simple. Yeah. It's not a smartphone, you yeah. know? It's just calling, texting, business. Yeah. Keep, keep it very I business. wanted it for that purpose. I want it for that. Just pur- put it in my phone, that beautiful feeling, the device, yeah. the way it's engineered. And these guys have completely taken that off the table now for us. Mm-hmm. Why? I've spoken to a technical person from one technical person to the next. He was very nice. Mm-hmm. Emilio or whatever his name was. Yeah. If, Good for you, man. You were just being straight up. And I asked him, why? You know, from one technical person to the next, why are they doing this? And he said, because they want to reduce the latency and all the interference against the new 5G bands. Mm -hmm. I want to punch something right now, bro. Yeah. I had to take the phone. Imagine just paying $600 and then another nine, and I'm not saying here because I'm, I'm saying money or whatever. Yeah. I'm just giving you a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The phone arrived. I paid ninety dollars in custom fees, yeah. so we're already at like six ninety. Yeah. And then I I realized all the limitations that are gonna come in, that even are worse just beyond because when I lost. Yeah, you had a hunch, remember? Yeah. Yeah. And I knew it was coming, and I said, okay, look, I'll, I'll I will lose the relay servers for email. Yeah. That's fine. It'll be just calling and texting. Mm-hmm. But then they were taking that away too. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is obsolete. It's it's not worth our time. That's pretty much what they said. Like they finally came out with that article, and I saw it even on on spread CTV. on Instagram too. Yeah. Oh, on CTV yeah, too. Yeah, they're talking about it. Wow. There's a lot of Canadians who use BlackBerry. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, man? no, no, yeah. Like the, like Ottawa's known for BlackBerry. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of the government, provincial and federal workers. Yeah. There's a lot of there's even a lot of celebrities <sighs> or athletes that still use it. You know, like even for me. That's the reason why, like, the, the reason why you've been using it forever anyways. And the reason why I want to go back to it is because I saw you using it. Because I remember just seeing you just using the keyboard. I'm like, ah, oh, I miss that keyboard. You know, I, I miss the tactical feel yep. of just the phone. And the fact that, you know, you use a phone for a phone. I know. As a phone. Mm-hmm. Less distraction. I find myself being too distracted sometimes. 100%. And with going back to BlackBerry, I don't even care. If I want to take a picture of something, I have a camera. Or even if it's a shitty picture through this BlackBerry phone, I don't care. It's, it's getting to the point where I just want to get away from it. I know. You know? Because you're realizing, bro, the impact that it has on our health. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. That's why I call it the shit gram. It's yeah. not Instagram. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating. Many times, ask Melita too. I'll just be hanging around and, you know, I got to... I, 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 I keep track and yeah. I remote manage a lot of servers and computers. Yeah important systems of mine Mm -hmm. using my phone yeah so sometimes i'm like okay let me go pick that up check on this check on that and then i'll go on instagram for a bit i haven't been on for two days Mm. and then something tells me get your hands off of that you don't need that now Mm -hmm. go clean the dishes or go play with timbo for a bit yeah and i'm like i look in, in up in the abyss and i'm like okay yeah i don't need to grab the phone and I've been doing that a lot in the last, like, two months. Yeah. To the point where, alhamdulillah, I don't even want to see the phone. Yeah, yeah. I use it to stay in touch with my homies, family, check on the mom, the wife, homeboys overseas. Yeah. Besides that, like, many times, bro, 
I hit Instagram up just because I want to see what you know yeah. what the fighters are up to. Yeah, whatever. New yeah. fights, new fight promotions. Exact. Stuff you're actually interested in. Stuff, stuff that you know we're both interested in. And then I'm like, it's, you know, the feed comes up and it's like, you see this glimpse into people's lives right away, and you're like, you know what? I'm 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 good actually. Yeah, I'm good. I don't care about what that guy bought and what. I, the whole scroll thing for me is a very. Uh, yeah, it's too much. Like it's too much. They designed it. They, it's it's they too knew much. What they were doing, it's so. too much. But that's a great first entry into 2022. Yeah. Um, stick tuned with us, guys. Please like, subscribe, do your thing. We got a few projects that we, we're, we're really excited about bringing because it allowed our homeboy here to bring the humor to the world, mm -hmm. which the world really needs right now. And hopefully we're just going to be plugging it away and doing our thing. Plus my other sports stuff, hopefully. Um, I got to correct you. Not hopefully. We're going to do it. Inshallah. <laughs> yeah. Inshallah. <laughs> yeah. For everybody that's watching, yeah. um, happy New Year's. Yeah. I hope the, the New Year brings the best for yeah. you. Hope everything is going well with you guys. Exactly. Yeah. Um, health is wealth. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Like she had told you guys, health is wealth. So focus on you. Do you. Stop Let's all be a lot less materialistic this year. Yeah. And I think it'll help us guide through all of this corona bullshit yeah. plus our own individual lives. I really think that's that's the case. Yeah. Um, you guys are all beautiful. You're all great. And we're all capable of great things. And again, live life simply too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Let's not overachieve here. Like, that's what life is about. Yeah. Go on a walk. Look at some ducks. Yeah. And realize us Canadians are privileged over here. Yeah. Uh, I think that privilege is going to come too s soon to an end. Thank you for tuning in to DFP. <laughs> yeah. The following has been provided by Free Speech. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. See you all next week.